Well, hello there, everybody. It is I, Mr. Reaper, and welcome back to another episode of Death and Taxes. Today, we're going to obviously be killing some more people, and uh, yeah, we have the awful task of choosing on a day-to-day -day basis who lives and who dies on my desk. Um, so yeah, we're on day 10 currently, and we have a quota of two humans have to die. Uh, looks like we have another basic day, which is kind of nice. I'm kind of excited, so I can choose whoever the hell I want, as long as we allow two of these guys to die. So let's start off, and uh, yeah, let's kill some people. All right, first lady is Aisling Pull. She's a seismologist, and when she was a kid, Aisling went through a terrifying earthquake. Obstinate by nature, she decided to confront their fear by studying to be a seismologist. These days, they lead research te the, the research team at Mountainhead Earthquake Monitoring Station. Okay, well, I feel like if I kill her, we're probably gonna die by an earthquake, so let's not let that happen. All right, we got Rufus over here. Rufus has lived a pretty good life. He's 63, retired. Gone are the days of descending into the darkened depths of the deep caverns, but Rufus remembers them fondly, nonetheless. It was a time of danger, but also of exploration and accomplishment. Now retired, Rufus spends all their time in an old folks' home, dispirited. Okay, I feel, I feel like we should probably get rid of Rufus. Uh, he, he had a good life, and clearly he's not really enjoying his life anymore. This is too real. Okay, we got a school bus driver, Zidian. Who the hell names our kid a Zit? Um, well, I guess Zidian Wainwright's parents do. Zidian drives children to and from schools every day. Although it seems like a job that requires responsibility, they're usually pretty lax about it. Sometimes partaking in soft narcotics before getting behind the wheel. They say it makes them focus better. Okay, so we have a drug fiend bus driver, uh, a very depressed old man, and a seismicologist that seems really nice. So, so far this is a pretty easy day. Bjorn has been unemployed for nearly a decade and after a failed, and after many failed job applications, they lost the, motiva the motivation to try again. To pass time, Bjorn has started obsessively watching rom-coms, even quoting them in random conversations. Ah, uh, okay. God, Bjorn's 56 and unemployed for nearly a decade. This is kind of hard. Should I do, you know what? Ugh, I feel really bad if I let the bus driver live, but this guy, I mean, what's what's he helping with society right now? Besides supporting rom-coms, which, uh, I mean, yeah, I, th I think what we're gonna do is kill these two. I feel like this is the best option. And we'll let these two live. So yes, uh, I might be regretting the drug fiend bus driver, but we'll let him live anyways. And then Aisling, of course, well, I don't want to get into an earthquake, so she needs to be around to save my life. Okay, day done. Hopefully that went well. I forget, do we have Fate yet or is the cat still? Okay, it's definitely the cat because Fate's not there. So Fate's on vacation right now and I'm talking with his cat. As you enter, the cat paces around on the table as if annoyed and irritated. Did I do something wrong today? I'll take this to mean that I'm doing well. Still not sure if this is a valuable use of my time later cat. I, 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 am I doing well? The cat carelessly stretches and shakes herself seemingly more or less pleased. Okay, well. In cat, in cat language, she's probably really impressed because she's not clawing my face off. A swift nod toward the door with her head makes it clear you should be leaving. This cat is absolutely awful. Okay, well, job well done. We should have got paid. There we go, 400 bucks in the bank. And I'm gonna wait to go down to the pirate. I don't have much mo money right now, so let's just go back to bed, end the day, and start out a, a, a new one today. Uh, what is this? We got a red profile today. I wonder what that means. Also, let's check my stuff. Many life saves a dedicated researcher warns Cosmopolis City in the nick of time. Science community calls increased funding on, on the mountainhead, lives will be saved. So yeah, that was the uh, scientist that I saved. Fire at the Astrarium, assisted living facility claims one life. School bus driver under investigation after crashing bus with kids in it. Fortunately, we're going at incredibly slow speeds at the time. I knew if I would have let that bus driver live, it was a, probably a bad idea. Oh man, I, l I love these updates. Probably the best part of this game if you ask me, because sometimes even the people you let live screw you over. All right, what's going on today? Quota for the day, three humans have to die. Spare anyone with medical background. Well, no time to waste, get thee to it. Michael has been dedicated worker at the... Okay, Grim, yes, you listen up. Why are you such a tool? Sitting at your desk, going over all the profiles like a mindless drone. It's time to break the rules. I want you to doom all the profiles today all of them. Prove you're not completely useless. Is this the cat? I, I feel like this is definitely the cat. 
So now I have a decision to make. Do I listen to the red sheet and doom everybody or not? You know what? Let's let's read some of these people that we're going to kill. Uh, I'm probably going to kill them, though, just because I'm curious and I want to see where this goes. All right, we got a getaway driver. Um, so that's starting off strong. At least that's an easy kill. Uh, Lucy got tangled in the whole organized crime web at an early age through depths their brother had incurred. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to read these real quick. Uh, we got a paramedic. They enjoy rushing into any dangerous situations to provide medical assistance as quickly and efficiently as possible. Sounds like a really nice lady. Now, now I'm feeling a little against this, but let's just keep going. Oh, great, a nuclear physicist, too. Vitality is an amazing runner and a proficient jumper. They have a long-lasting rivalry with Anatolia As Asrov. Why are these names so hard? I'm assuming it's like Russian or something. Okay, so we have a very competitive track and field athlete, and then... This nice looking fellow. Kermit has a warm, kind hearted personality and does their best to help the troubled youth. Oh god. Okay, so these are all really nice people. And I feel really bad. But I'm doing it, man. We we need to see where this red thing goes. This could totally screw over me, but I'm too curious not to do it. So everybody dies. Ah, I got the old achievement Deathbringer. Let's go see what the cat has to tell me today, unless uh fate's back. Fate has been on a vacation for quite a few days now. What's up, kitty? Hello? Hello? What? Who is this? Okay. It's it's the guy I was working with, and he's working with the cat, I think? Right. Very good. Listen, you are not supposed to mark every profile to death. I made Oh, this is uh this is fate! Okay, well fate i I'm sorry. I'm not the best employee. Well, sounds like I'm still here, and maybe we can get to the bottom of this. God damn it, that's right. We didn't get paid today though, and I did really want to spend some money. But I had to do it, man. That, I, I mean, I was too curious not to. So hopefully something new happens today. Do we have another red profile? No. So I wonder what's gonna happen. Okay, quota for the day. Three humans have to die. Spare any students. All right, so let's quickly go through this. A student, well, you're gonna get spared. Uh, being that I wanna kinda speed this up a little bit, obviously I could read all these profiles, but I do wanna just do this right. So let's get the students out of here. They're obviously good to go. Let me actually just make sure there's no like secret warnings in this. Sometimes they do that, obviously. Um, yeah, looks like they're good. Age 52 and a student, I mean, I'm all for going back to school if that's what you wanna do. And what the hell is that? So, Somalier. I don't, uh, okay, I gotta read this. Oh, it's wine. That's why I don't know what the hell it is. I, I ain't a fancy boy. A child prodigy neuro neurosurgeon, of course. Um, has been performing brain surgery since the age of 18. Wow, okay. Definitely wanna keep this guy around, or we're probably gonna get lots of people dying. We've got an Air Force captain as well. Born and raised in the McIntyre Air Base, loves the thrill of flying planes and tense combat situations. Their family has a history of military service. Kevin is dedicated to their wife, seven-year-old child, rarely taking any time for themselves. These are all nice people. This is this is gonna be a hard day, because we have to spare these two students. And, oh, we have a professional gambler. Born into a wealthy family, Arjun has always had money to burn. They started gambling professionally and are pretty good at it. Recently, Arjun killed a person when driving under the influence, but can afford the best lawyers to avoid and avoid a punishment. Well, that that's an easy death. At least we have one today that, that, that that's an easy death. But we still gotta figure out out of these three people who we want to keep around. I'm thinking it's gotta be the neurosurgeon, right? I mean, brain surgery, that, 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 that's, a, that's a hard job to do, and we, we have to keep those, those talents around. So we're gonna let that person live. Oh, no, 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 okay. And then the rest of these, unfortunately, has to have to die. Sorry, Air Force Captain, you sounded like a pretty nice guy, too. And the wine lady, I mean, you're not really doing much to help society, but hey, you're not doing much to detriment society either, so you're gonna have to die, though. Okay, I think that day went rather well. I don't think I screwed up that at all. Can, can fate come back? I'm getting sick of this cat. It's kind of weird. The cat seems to be in a slumber, occasionally in, a, emanating a soft snore-like purr. I still can't believe how fluffy you are! Meow, the cat mutters, and annoyed meow through her snores. I just want to pet you! She lifts her head, her stare fierce, making it seem like petting her would be an extremely bad idea. Oh, should I do it? Should I pet? Yep, I'm doing it. The cat bears her teeth. They look incredibly sharp. Sharp enough to chew through any... Uh, a, a soyous material. That's a word. Um, okay. I <laughs> Should I do it? I feel like the, I could actually lose the game. Screw it! I'm doing it! The cat stands up, her back arched and tail flicks sharply back and forth. 
Squeak. The toy emits a shrill sound that cuts through everything. Wait. Squeak. What in the... Slowly, the cat ro ro rotates her head while continuing to stare right at you. It almost looks like there's a ghostly, mischievous grin on her face. What the hell? Do you have, you have like a voodoo doll cat toy of me? Sluggishly and with disdain for your discourtesy, the cat sniffs the usual pile of documents waiting on the table. Okay, I didn't get fired. I have to stop doing these risky things. <laughs> the cat continues inspecting the documents for a few seconds and turns away, seemingly pleased. Can I ask you some questions? The cat stares at you, slowly blinking. Okay, payday? Hell yeah, payday. All right, we're going down to my buddy. I, I need to get some new un unlocks, man, because I want to see what else is in oh, this hi, game. Man. Hello! What? All right, so we got 1,100. This dark cave is a classic tire for any grim deeds. It is pleasantly warm while offering protection against the wind and rain, which you won't actually need as you'll always be stuck in the office. Sounds absolutely pointless. No, I don't want to buy that. I just want to read it. I think I'm going to buy this. I... I think it might be a radio. I'm not sure though. I definitely don't want the fidget spinner, at least right now. Uh, so yeah, let's buy this. Tis a tale most sordid. I dare not even recall the details, but since he wished to hear it, I shall tell it forthwith. There I was, scouting some rickety office building downtown, and I saw this in an elevator. Went in, tore it out, and made a run for it. <laughs> the device has immense power. Ye turn the knob, and infinite pleasant noises come from it. Some might even call it music. Yeah, it's a radio, dude. Like, seriously. Okay, hopefully I have a radio, and yes, indeed, I do. Oh, this is exciting. Actually, this this takes my damn space for this thing, though. So let's put this over here. Okay, looks like we got a busy day. A total of th wait, where, where where's my where's my papers? A total of three humans have to die. Humans in the field of religion have to die. Spirity humans with an artistic background. Okay, can I? What? Wait, what did the cat do? I didn't even notice the cat paw prints on my desk. They, the cat took my stuff. Well, I guess today we're not working because the cat ate my homework, literally. Um, I better get paid today. Did that work? I am so unbelievably confused. Cat, the hell did you do? Cat's not even there. Wait, what? Oh, the cat's way back there. The cat lo lounges on the table, brushing her ear with her paw. What the hell, cat? The cat pauses for a moment, then continues brushing herself, indifferent to your acrimony. You stole my files! Before the cat has a chance to respond, the phone rings in an ear-piercing metallic clatter. You hear a familiar voice. Oh, what's up, Fate? Hello, Grim. I heard that. I understand the job Oh, my can God. Be Here we go. I I'm going to get yelled at! These decisions do not come lightly. But you cannot let everybody live. I do the cat Such ate actions it. Such will have serious consequences. Should I call out the cat? I feel like if I call out the cat, the cat's gonna do more disastrous stuff to me. So let's just let's just say the files were gone. What? Could you repeat that? Oh, should I say it? I can't. I don't even have a choice not to mention it was the cat. Um, never mind. You no know matter. what? I you know I'm just gonna work with the cat right now. You say the world needs to stay in equi equilibrium. Well, I had a day where I killed everybody, and today I let everybody live. Are, are, aren't we back even? Come on, fate. Real nice cat. The cat has already fallen asleep. She purrs softly, contented. Nothing else to do but leave. God damn, this stupid cat really ruined my day today. Oh, looks like fate's back today, so that's exciting. At least I don't got to deal with the cat anymore. Uh, but yeah, let's go back to work first before we actually get this, uh, or go see Mr. Fate. Oh! Red Profile's back. This is exciting. Always cheerful. R Rosalie was born to Grim. Listen, sorry it took so long. You made the choices and got censored for it, but I had to test you to know if you have what it takes. I won't ask anything that big again, but I ask for your trust and for small acts of defiance. You should let this one live. Stand against fate's rules, and I will show you what lies beneath. Is it, I wonder if this is, is whoever's beneath the pirate at the elevator. Okay, what else do we have to do? Anyone related to the transportation industry has to die. Choose humans at the left side of the profile bundle. What do you mean, choose humans? You gotta be more, you gotta tell me more. Choose them to live, I'm assuming? Choose them to die? What do you mean, choose? All right, I think I'm gonna choose them to die. So any, uh, these three on the left were automatically, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let them die. Mr. Firefighter, you die. I'm so sorry. Thank you for your service, but get the hell out of here. And you die because you're on the left side. I feel really wrong about this. This is a stupid rule today, but 
I, I think I listened to it. I don't, I don't know what choose humans means though. All right, so we need two more humans to die. Um, I'm just gonna see anybody in the transport industry. Uh, unemployed, okay, so helicopter pilot, that's that's transport, so you can live good, sir, just because you're a helicopter pilot. And we have Mr. Streetcar Operator over here. You get to live as well, because you're all about the transportation, my dude. Okay, so we still gotta choose two out of the three here. All right, we got Gordy, who's unemployed. Gordy says they are a physicist because they used to work in the physics lab. In truth, they spent all of their time at the warehouse opening crates with a crowbar. They were fired after breaking an ample amount of the rare HL-3.0 compound in the lab they had been expecting for nearly two decades. Okay, Gordy, I think you probably deserve to die. Um, what's this, a preacher? As Wari found religion after hitting rock bottom after selling a family clock radio for a tiny fix. They got muggled in the alleyway, but found help in a nearby church. After living through withdrawal, their life felt filled with otherworldly warmth. So they devoted themselves to helping the others in situations similar to the, the, what theirs have been. Well, she sounds pretty nice, so she'll, she'll probably stay alive unless this field hand is uh, even better. Arcadius, what a name, lives the life of country musicians always brag about having. Blue denim jeans, red truck, and cl a closest to the earth. Still, an oddly large amount of their time is spent with the Scarecrow. They like drinking cheap and watery beer. All right, I think we're gonna kill Mr. Scarecrow as well and let the teacher, or the preacher rather, live. I'm feeling pretty good about those choices, hopefully. Unless I got the whole left side thing totally wrong. Maybe it was like a political stance or something? I, I don't know. Uh, but I just chose the left side papers. All right, he's already asking me if I missed him. Um, Yeah, you know, let, 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 let's be nice to him. He's given me lots of chances. Oh, we have another performance evaluation today. So two weeks we've been working here now. Seems to be correct or whatever. Clearly you don't care too much about these people. Let us proceed with the more important evaluation. Indeed, let me know how I'm doing. Hmm. Uh-oh, he's just saying, hmm. Should I say, is there a problem? Yeah, let's do no, it. No, I would not say that. Okay, then what's the Being issue? Essence. Okay, so now he's saying I have a lack of independence? What the hell? Okay, now you're really confusing me. You're yelling at me to follow these rules like there are, you know, the Ten Commandments or something, and now you're telling me to kind of break the rules to uh, gain my independence. What the frig, Fate? Okay, so now I'm really gonna work with the red guy because even, even Fate's telling me to stop being a pussy, basically. Screw you, Fate. Well, it looks like we got another small bonus, so that's good, but we have an ultimate evaluation in two weeks, so a month into our job. I don't know what it means by ultimate, but, I, but I'm, I'm curious. I think things went well. Uh, fate yelled at me, though. Wow, we doubled our, our income now. Okay, so now we're really in the money, so we can go to the pirate bro and uh, really spend some of this. So yeah, I th I'm thinking whoever I'm working with is, is the person down here. You can see sometimes people walking around. At least I feel like that's what it was referencing earlier. Ah, oh, it's a perfectly regular sized toy toy gerbil made out of rubber. J just what I wanted. That is so expensive. Oh my god. I still can't afford the stupid globe. Damn it. Fine. Oh, what? To see ye again. What? Where the frig is the globe? God damn it. Okay, well, I do want this uh, mirror as well, because I think that's how we can change our look. So I guess we'll have to wait for the globe. Let's buy the reflector. Tis wondrous marvel. Once upon me and me crew sailed the southern seas and came across an accursed lighthouse. Plundered the lot of it, even the mirrors. Built the frame from beautiful driftwood, washed ashore, from the ship we rammed into. <laughs> Covered it in all gold, too, coarse. I, a proper beauty. All right, and with that mirror, I'm pretty certain that should unlock. Yes, we have a new room. Knock, knock. Oh, who, who, who is there? That's exactly the question, ain't it? That was the question I asked. Who are you again? We are the exalted Chimera, envied by all the blind, arrogant fools. The frig is we going on? We are Angst Exmilio. We are nothing. A despicable failure. Okay. We are Elan Vital, the guide who won't lead astray. If only you learn to listen. The mirror is talking to we me. We are death. How does it feel? It it feels fine. Not a cloud in the sky. There's what a cloud on my face. Okay, my, my, my mirror. 
What? I'm so confused. So, oh, I got new heads. Okay, well, this is exciting. I got the plague mask as well because I bought that. We have a furry. We have more furries. We have lots of furries. That's great. Smoking kills. I don't know who this is, but it's probably somebody I accidentally killed. And then we're back to the ordinary starting heads. Well, I'm going to use the doctor's mask because I think that's pretty cool. And we probably have some new suits as well, right? No, we don't. I don't think so anyways. So let's just... That, that's a fancy-ass look right there. We're, we're, I, th I think we're going to go for that. Well, guys, I think it's a good time to end when the mirror starts talking to you. That's probably a good time to take a little bit of a break from the game. So, yeah. I, this is such an interesting game. I feel like there's lots of different directions you can go and different people you can work with. I feel like the mirror's probably some sort of ending. The red papers that we figured out today, I'm really interested in following those because I, I want to unearth the secrets of that. Fate's been kind of weird as well, telling me to rebel, so I don't know if I should rebel or not. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this episode of Death and Taxes, and uh, yeah, we'll continue on in the near future. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.